so happy to be here in another video. Today I will show you everything that I eat in a day with healthy, delicious, easy recipes. If you overate over the holiday season and you want to lose weight, then this video will help you so much. If you like these videos where I show you what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below because I upload videos every single week. All right, let's get started with the video. For breakfast, I'm gonna make a warm cinnamon oatmeal. And for this, I'm using two cups of water and one cup of oats and a little cinnamon stick. So the first step is putting the water and the oats into the pot and put it on medium high heat so it starts boiling a little bit. Once it starts boiling, you turn down the heat, cover it, and let it cook for around seven minutes. Also putting the cinnamon. Adding some sea salt. Adding half a cup more of water. Now we cover it and let it cook for around seven to 10 minutes. I love this pot. The brand is Caraway and they're non-stick, non-toxic ceramic and so beautiful as well. Okay, so seven minutes are up and the oatmeal is ready. This is the consistency that I personally like. It's super warm, nourishing, mm, so good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon and some coconut oil. Coconut oil, two teaspoons. This is the one that I'm using, Green Octin MCT oil. More cinnamon. Once the oatmeal is still warm, I'm gonna add the egg, crack the egg open, put it in there and stir it around so it cooks. You will barely even taste the egg and it will add some more protein and nutrition. Oatmeal is ready. So now I'm gonna add uh, two tablespoons of yogurt. This is just plain whole milk yogurt. And I like this farm because all of their cows are grass-fed and it tastes really good. And finally, a little bit of raw honey. It's ready. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have this now. Now I'm gonna make my coffee. So this is my new espresso machine. It's the Breville Barista Express and I've been loving it. So I'm gonna make myself a little Americana. And Perfect espresso is ready. This is the coffee that I'm using. It's by the brand Bulletproof. And when you get coffee, it's really important that you look out for clean, good, organic coffee that have good processes because coffee is one of the most sprayed crop and all of that is going into your body, which is not good. So just look out for good, clean coffee. This is my snack, very appropriate, 2021. <laughs> and I'm having a cup of Greek yogurt, whole milk. This is the brand that I like, Strauss. Cottage cheese, and I chose these two because they're very high in protein. I just finished working out, so I want a little protein-rich snack. And I mixed them both. I added some frozen blueberries. I got these from Trader Joe's, they're organic. And uh, with my little sign of 2021 with pineapple. So this is gonna be my snack. It's been three hours since I had breakfast and it's my mid-morning snack. Please don't judge me, I haven't taken a shower yet. 
I worked out and then I was just organizing and cleaning some things here in the house. Um, but now I'm gonna have my snack, okay? Let's eat. I added some cinnamon and stevia as well, okay? I would like to know, I would like to know what your goals are for 2021. Personally, spiritually, professionally, comment below. I would also love to know what kind of content you guys want to see from me this year. Here. I showered, I did my hair, a little bit of makeup, and now I'm gonna make a matcha latte, and this is what I like to put in it. So I use this little machine that I got on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys here below. And basically I just added some cashew milk, some matcha from the brand Pick. This is my favorite one, and some stevia. So what I love about this machine, this is how it works. Okay, you just press it here. You can either make it hot or cold foam. I'm gonna make it hot. And it starts mixing and foaming. Look how it is. So foamy. Okay, so this is how it turns out. There are some milks that are going to foam better than others. Cashew milk doesn't foam that great, but oat milk does and soy milk does as well. And I'm loving my cute little mug from Costa Rica. And my mug today matches my sweatpants, which I am loving. The brand is called Matt the Label. It's 100% organic cotton and they're super comfy, super soft, and sustainably made. And I'll leave you guys a link below. If you guys are interested, you can get it with a discount. Let's try this. Lunchtime is here. I'm gonna have some steelhead trout. It looks like a salmon, it tastes like a salmon, but it's not a salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon. <laughs> and then some spaghetti squash that I baked yesterday. So I'm gonna cook it together and then eat this for lunch. So um, this fish is actually sushi grade fish. So what I'm gonna do is cut it into little pieces and then sear it lightly on the pan to eat with my spaghetti squash. It's delicious, I bought it here locally. It's called Dry Dock Fish. It's from the farmer's market that I have here in Orange County and it's absolutely delicious, sustainably caught. And fish is one of the healthiest foods on the planet because it has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential to the function of our brain, of our body, especially for women. It's really, really important that we get these essential fatty fats inside of us. Mm. I'm going to place it in this bowl. I'll cut it once it's cooked. sauce. I love spiciness. And um, just mix it. Add a little bit of ghee. There we go. All right, so now we just put it here. I'm also gonna add some of this. Cook it here as well. All right, so here is my lunch. As you can see, it's very, very simple but delicious. This fish is so good and the spaghetti squash is really good as well. I personally think that when you have good high quality ingredients, you don't really need that much for it to taste amazing. This only has a little bit of butter and sea salt and with my fish. I also added a little bit of this fermented Dijon mustard that my sister-in-law gave us and it's so good. Something very important that I want to mention. I'm eating this fish that is partly raw because when I purchased it, I knew they told me that it was sushi grade fish and I bought it at a farmer's market. 
in a place where they only sell fish. Like I would never go to the regular supermarket and just buy fish and eat it raw because I don't even know if it's sushi great, usually, usually it's not. So very, very, very important you guys because it can be dangerous to eat raw fish if it's not meant to be, to be eaten raw. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Very important fam, to drink water, stay hydrated. Mm -mm. Just made myself a smoothie with my Organifi vanilla bean protein, plant-based cashew milk, two scoops of collagen, and also one tablespoon of raw cashew butter, and also some frozen blueberries. And I'm gonna eat this with a little pack of some wafers. This one is amaranth flavor. Yum! So good. So, so good. Seriously, this protein powder tastes so good. Highly recommend you try it. And remember to use my discount code, Yobana, to get up to 20% off. I made these meatballs, Wagyu meatballs, for the pasta. Um, here is the pasta that I am having. Um, spaghetti squash, and then meatballs, and tomato sauce, and a little bit of pasta. Dorian said I should show his because he's... He says this is better. I can't even see anything in there. Okay. I think mine looks pretty actually. Prettier. Now we're gonna have some dinner. Yummy, yummy. All right, just finished having dinner and I am going to try for the first time cinnamon crisps by Siete. I'm a little late in the game. And in a little bit, I'm gonna make banana ice cream for Dorian and I to share as dessert. Los ingredientes son cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut sugar, agave syrup, pumpkin powder, cinnamon, sea salt, vanilla bean powder. Mmm, oh my gosh. It tastes like buñuelos. In Mexico, there's a dessert called buñuelos, and it's like a deep fried, like crunchy pastry that you eat during the holidays. And this tastes like it. Mmm. Okay, so for dessert, I am going to be making a healthy root beer float to share. Dorian and I will be sharing, so I'm not gonna be eating it all by myself. And for the healthy fruit beer, I'm using this one from Olipop. I love this brand. When you guys go to Whole Foods or Mother's or Sprouts, look out for it. They're so good. And I have some homemade banana ice cream that I love to make, and it's Dorian's favorite. He says it's the best ice cream in the world. I'm gonna make my root beer float with this and um, we'll see how it goes. And I chilled, pre-chilled my cup. Basically, it's just the ice cream and the soda. So here is our healthy root beer float. Mm. That is actually really good. And it tastes like root beer float. Dorian's grandma makes the best root beer floats ever. Obviously, this doesn't compare to hers, but it's my healthy version. Close enough. Mm -hmm. That is good. About to go to bed, and this is what I take at night before I go to sleep. Uh, one teaspoon of calm magnesium and three-fourths teaspoon of glycine. It's another um, mineral that helps promote restful sleep and I just mix it with water and drink it. Okay fam, so I am officially going to sleep. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this video. Hope that you liked it. Let me know in the comments below what your 2021 goals are, what you wanna see more of on my channel, and I can film that for you guys. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Yovana, because I'm uploading Tons of other content there to inspire and motivate you to lead a healthier life. I hope 2021 is filled with blessings, love, light, and so much peace for you and your family. Love you. Send you all a big hug, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.